Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Yeah, how was that possible? I also wondered this. Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? Mm. I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. Why so would he tell lie. us? No, but why? <laughs> okay. I mean, what reason would Aventurine have to kill Robin though? Yeah. And is she even dead? Yeah, the way he's really like giving his alibi and all makes him more suspicious. But then he does have a point. Why would he do it though? I don't know. I want to write him off as a suspect, but yeah. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Mm-hmm. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. And we are what in reality right confidence now. confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Okay. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. But why would she also kill Robin? Like, what does Acheron get from that? Just because she is someone who is an emanator and she is someone, like, who goes around killing people doesn't mean she's gonna kill Robin, though. Like, where is the motive? Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Yeah, who? Who will be the next to die? Well, that's just one side of the story. Yeah, if that's the case, I can't trust anyone. I like this option. It's true though. And why are we believing anything Aventurine tells us? We know him. Like, we know him as long as we know Acheron. We did meet Acheron before though. I don't know. I, I, this is so confusing to me. I think they're just blaming everything on Acheron since it's easier because otherwise there's multiple people on a killing spree. Could Aventurine be protecting someone else? Do you think Acheron would be following orders? Yeah, but what does she... What, what does she get from killing Robin? And if somebody ordered her, what do they get from doing that? Plus, I'm just very uh, unconvinced that Robin is dead at all. Even this whole dreamscape, like, the fact that the trailblazer is out of the dreamscape right now is something I'm having a hard time believing. Like, I don't know where reality and the dream is sort of blending, you know? It's very confusing. I don't know. I'm, I'm not buying this. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. Yeah, I don't trust and you, I'm man. To wait. Nope, nope, nope. I, I don't trust this man. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Of course, you want us to believe that, though. Am I biased towards Akron? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. 
Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do, but you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I oh. want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. That's what he has to gain. <laughs> Everyone is biased towards Acheron. It's not just, okay, I think more than being biased towards Acheron, I am having a hard time trusting this person here. I, I don't think Aventurian is bad, but he just comes off as someone who lies a lot, okay? I, I have a hard time believing, like, what he's saying right now. <laughs> and why does he want to, like, team up with us now? I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. Okay. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Who else is dead? It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Mm, what kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. That's what he needs us for, right? He needs us to break through to the family. And he can't do that alone. And the Astral Express is the only strong contender. So, like, he tells us that Acheron is bad, team up with me instead. But he just wants what he wants, right? Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Does he care about justice for Robin? I... Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. Okay. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Mm -hmm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Mm. I think Black Spawn just teamed up with Aventurian because of what Akron did to her during the dance. I mean, whatever she saw scared her, so she's like, I don't want to team up with her probably, yeah. But then also because I think he's the best guy who could have done what she needed, right? And both of them are kind of similar in that way. They have their own ends of the deal that they need to fulfill, right? You want us to take the advantage of the family's trust in us. See, this is why the Astral Express is so valuable, right? I feel like we should take this up with Himeko. She would know what to do, you know? I, I don't think the trailblazer knows. I, or me, I'm talking about like my maturity. I feel like Himeko knows what to Himeko or Welt would know what to do in this situation. Like, I feel like that child, like, let me ask my mom. <laughs> the nameless would never associate with the IPC true. Um, a decision like this is way above my pay grade. Amen. But don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. Okay. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. 
Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Of course, he gave us oh, his number. Take this. <laughs> a thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. He's dangling money in front of us. Like, I'm sorry. I cannot trust this man. He's so, he's sick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, I no. I would rather trust Akron, who's apparently a murderer, than this, like freaking bribing us. Okay, I I don't know. I'm not I'm not into this. I don't like it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. It is off. Sugar dad would have been. What are your plans? Yeah, what Black are my plans? Plan. What is she thinking? Who knows? I believe in Akron. I feel like she's being like defamed, okay? Everyone wants to go after her. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Mm. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted mm. topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. Mm, for sure. For Firefly's sake, we must... But yeah, that's what... We need to know what's happening. But... Mm. That is something I agree on. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Mm. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? Mm. Yeah, this is a good question. Actually, I want to know if... What Black Swan thinks about Akron, yeah. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. See? But Black Swan isn't doubt, saying that. She is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. See, but Black Swan isn't saying that she's bad though. She's saying stay away from her, but she's not she's not saying that Acheron is doing all of this. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very mm. short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Mm. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Hmm, a smuggler? Hmm. Did death kill Robin? I'm not Robin? sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Hmm. See, her points seem more logical than Aventurine's. Aventurine is just like, you know, listen, bad stuff happened, Acheron exists, so she must have done bad stuff. I don't know. His logic isn't like hitting me. Plus, the way he's presenting his deals are just, I don't know, it's sick. so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion.
Come, this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. I don't want to walk. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Sam sticker. Wait a second. Chat, hold on. <laughs> Two gays in the trees. <laughs> I forgot to take this last quest. I want to say chat, I finished this. I had no clue this was here, okay? And then everyone in the comment section on my quest video was like, why does she just skip everything? Why did she take this? I literally didn't even see it. I'm so, I don't know, okay? And then I haven't, I haven't gotten it till now. But yeah, I don't it feels worse to get it now. I don't know. I, I miss her. It's our selfie. I'm glad I got it now. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Hmm. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Huh? There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. What does she give us? I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology mm. from me for hiding something from you. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's a lot too. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Why chat this sounds wrong. I'm so, <laughs> I, 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 okay, I'm just gonna shut up. What mm. fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Private business with that, surely. <laughs> Pixie, you're still at the hotel. Yes, yes, I am, I am. I feel so antsy. Sure, just let me know. Okay, I'm done. Where should we meet, yeah? Oh, they missed me. Someone cares about us, chat. The lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been caught on of what cordoned off by the family we're wrapping up negotiations with family delegates okay we meet near the clocky statue okay is himiko a tiny card numbered zero okay what is this okay ooh, ooh, oh my god chad look at that <laughs> I'm so gay for Akron. <laughs> Renny, technically you would be straight for Akron, you realize. So much has happened. 
I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. <laughs> Some time ago, deep in the memory zone, okay. There's something in it. You better unsheath that blade now, Ranger. Do you one on one still dream hunter? Of those slain by your hand. <gasps> Days ago. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> what is what? Miss Mem. Okay, so she did go and kill him. Okay, I got it. Um. Uh, I'm, I'm so, uh, yeah. It appears the outcome has already been determined. Why is he dead? They're still alive. As are you. They're still alive? We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. Actually, she doesn't. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. They spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon, from the beginning to the end. We are born to die. His voice just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn. I guess they are not dead, right? Still young, and I don't believe them. But my flames are faint, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, hmm. I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. What? Emanator. <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed Bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. So technically, she, the Duke isn't an enemy. No, the Duke isn't. But see, she, she is stopping him from going and doing whatever he was planning to do in Penaconi, right? So technically, she kind of like saved them. And he's, I mean, he completely chose this. And that is obvious. Destruction is intense, but grief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it is. 
exists. Just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... <laughs> perhaps out of... I'll reveal the truth to you. Okay. The hunt. Mm. It's not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. That's what she said. That's I what she- I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Chat, she said that, listen, didn't she say that waking world line to the trailblazer when we first met her in, at the dreamscape? What? And now she's saying that this, what? So is this entire thing a dream? Like where? I'm, we don't even know. I don't know, man. This is so confusing. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. And you're not this guy? You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? Elio. You know. Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no mm. one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. Oh. What reason A friendship? would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why... Mm. Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture. She said this is a trailblazer as well. So I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? <laughs> it's not yet time. Chat, what what is happening? I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. 
Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me mm. one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Hmm. Chet, if, if that is the aim, right? They want the Astral Express to uh, go after the family. Right now, the Trailblazer's main motivation to do that is actually the fact that A, Firefly died and Robin died, right? Like, what if they showed these things to us so that the Trailblazer would feel bad and like, try to uncover what's happening. The way, I don't know, the way this is written makes me, like, it gives me that vibe. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, mm. here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? If she asks, have you met before, I swear to God. Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what Why kind is it of red? I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. I knew it. Why? Hang on. More, more, more. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. Why, why, Sam? I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. This is very similar to what Duke Inferno so, said. I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. What? <sighs> what is this, Chad? What is this even? We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry. But I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Mm -hmm. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Hmm. Let's recap everything then. The Trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? I just had a small realization. Stellaron hunters are just Alice in the Wonderland gang, each with a thing they were not born with but want to get. Ooh, that is actually interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Blade has that. That's so true. I, I see what you mean, Darth. Hmm. Do you remember what the family rep who negotiated with us said? Hmm. 
Indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's mm. how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Hmm. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. Hmm. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Panacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered mm. up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. No, mm -hmm. she doesn't like Aventurine. Yes, Aventurine is on guard against Akron. I hope they can tell us what to do Indeed. about that. He was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. Hi, Auntie. Hello. Wait, let me give you a shout out. Yes. Yep. Hello. We're just doing the Star Rail quest. Hmm. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring why do we have to talk to adventuring honestly things, the family harbors no ill will towards the astral express if they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually mm. commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that aventurine... Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Mm. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the mm. intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We could just use him for intel. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. Mm. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting mm. Aventurine's proposal to team up? More like just using it to our advantage. Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until mm. both sides have played their cards. That is not a bad point. Further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. It's fine, I got a lot out of him too, yeah. It's cool, you can bully me whenever. Uh, you... <laughs> no, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Hmm. 
Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. We'll collaborate. He's so happy. Obviously. From now on, we'll all be in this together. I don't trust a word, sir. I do not. <gasps> Bro, look at that money. 100k. Oof. That's it. You know what? I'm going to be an ass. That's it. Yeah, let's see what you've got. Will he give... Will he give... Wait, is he going to give some more? <gasps> Chat, we got some more. <laughs> Family is going to sweep Robin's case out of the rug for as long as they can. So her case is only a secret between us. Okay, but the other case that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I will take my leave now. And I look forward to outstanding performance from you guys. Where is the money? <laughs> I hope we get the money. Well, huh? Looks like Aventurine is happy with We this got outcome. the credits. We Let's actually got enough. them. Chat 200k credits. What a way. What an easy way. Okay, who do we talk to first? We'll talk to Himeko first. Aventurine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, <laughs> he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking mm. them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going for the hotel. Mm. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Perhaps he's going for the family? He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Pinnacone, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her. Yeah, we know nothing about her. Avenger. We know hardly anything about her and can't rush to any conclusions. Mm, mm, I feel like... I feel like he needs us. It's not that he's going for us. Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much. Hmm. And has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions. And he did give us a lot of money. No conclusions can be drawn just I'm yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling a Venturine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Mm. This music is kind of goofy. <laughs> Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever. Mm. But said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking. This, you. I'm telling you, the entire conversation eventually is like yapping about how Acheron is the one who's done everything, even though they both lied to us too. How, like, we didn't even know they were connected with each other, right? Like Black Swan and eventually. It's the, how can we trust them? It was a groundless accusation. Which only serves to make him seem. Thank God, Wilt has brain. Hmm, he's bluffing. But why though? Maybe Venturine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Yes. Two birds, one stone. Aventurine is really sore. Trust me, bro. Yeah. 
he literally said that though like when we kept asking him like why are you saying this he's like you know just look at it he's like two people are dead and she's suspicious she's an emanator like see the thing is she is an emanator okay but how does that prove that she's going around killing people for no reason it makes no sense however i asked don hong back on the express to confirm that story about the annihilation gang mm. and the lost messages it wasn't something that adventuring made up out of thin air You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Miss Acheron. <laughs> She's a very gentle woman. Hmm. She's a very mysterious woman. Weird. I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. Why was that red? They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. That was I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Because aren't we supposed yeah. to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Do you think the family is behind this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape. Which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Ah. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Hmm. Looks like Adventuring doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. Mm. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is if a person dies in a dream, what happens mm. to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's yeah. situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Maybe she's a live chat. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape i'll investigate those and we can link up again later worth focusing on oh no problem well it has something to you then huh oh i thought i'd finally get to see <laughs> himeko and mr yang go out on a mission together oh well take care then mr yang <laughs> i will Keep in touch. I feel like he knows something. Why are we leaving him alone? Hmm. I don't like Honor this. Guest, could you come out for a second? <gasps> I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Did he make that face because of how she looks? Chat. Yeah, probably. Well. Is there something about my name? 
first. Don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. The Annihilation Gang? Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Hmm. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be despaired. So she didn't kill him then? And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Oh. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this king. Oof. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for He's gonna beat He's gonna beat her up. Oh my god. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to <sighs> Believe it or not. No, I don't know, I love this. Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. I'm here for the watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Okay. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Then take your time. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. But she knows everything about us. The rest is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything. She cares about the trailblazer. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone huh? may be closely related to the Trailblaze. What? That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, mm. we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm hmm. <laughs> By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of. She's really friendly with him. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. What an unlikely, like, coming duo. Will last forever. What's she gonna say? And they won't tell us what the conversation is, of course. I don't know. What do you think? I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent. Check the dance. Are we gonna see the dance in game? Up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. Not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste 
Any difference at all between them? The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Who is she talking to? Chat. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Is that Akash? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Mm. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way. What? It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? Huh? Sparkle? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh. A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Oh, okay. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet at Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Black Swan really knows how to get women. <laughs> Welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? Hmm. I can give it to you, and then 
You can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Wanna listen in? I'm so confused. Switching to Aventurine's POV? A few oh. days ago, the IPC made an announcement. <sighs> Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eyes. Is that storm, baby Aventurine? Burned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gaiath for Triclops, if thou can hear me, Please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Yeah, there. This is Aventurine's mom, I guess. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <sighs> raining! <laughs> it is raining! It's true! Outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Uh, Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. 
I guess he had a sister. On the day you were born, the sky also I have no idea either. Like this from Gayatra. Is this supposed like is this her hair? <laughs> Such a lucky child. Or is it a basket like Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes <laughs> not Gayatri concealed. No. <laughs> Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Time to wake up. That's the issue. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced to wake by what? the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets. I think Robin is in dead chat. I don't know about Firefly, but you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf. They were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Mm -hmm. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible, Gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Hmm. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, mm. but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin mm. herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. No, but they he saw her dead, right? Almost. Incidentally, 
It seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. He However, saw her die? For the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Panacone, your dream. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. What man? Who? No. Sunday. Oh. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? Why? What? Wh why is? What does he do in the private trial? And why did eventually sound like he doesn't want to go? I'm worried. If it were the former. It would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Okay. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's We're gonna walk. and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Okay. The fortress. <laughs> Oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Not yours. Who's to say I won't sell you out? Mm. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. As the story unfolds, you have the chance to progress the story from other characters' POV. When entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically be placed first on your team. You can check the Fates Atlas interface to see which characters POV. Okay, okay. We can change it. Ooh. Trial of entering. Feeling lucky. We get to try even before. Oh, he drops a whole them. He drops a whole die on it. Let me get that chest to eat. A reward with no risk. Status effect. I'll take it. Okay. How do we change POVs again? I guess. I don't want to like. I don't want to switch it now. It's okay. I want to see it from his POV. Like this is the right way, right? Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember. 
remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy <laughs> index here is no better than it is out there. Why does Mr. Ratio end up black with these people? Oh, I, so we lose one of the characters <sighs> as well from our team. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. Yeah. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape okay. with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Mm. Okay, let me get the chest as well. Hmm. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Oh, I was wondering when the puzzles would start. Ooh. Oof, life is so much easier with Acheron. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Okay. Uh, but are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families. Only <laughs> nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Yeah, thank God they gave me the picture because I would never know. Yeah, I want to see it from here. Wait. This goes, okay. Little more, please. Thank you. Okay. And then this one is right. That one is right. Oh, these both in the same direction, no? No, no, no. Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps <laughs> I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Oof, the Red? sarcasm. <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. 
I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Can't you tell? Clearly. <laughs> okay. Oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Hmm. Dream four, the gleam of old blades. wrong are we heading the wrong way no but this door is locked my friend did you <laughs> really make an appointment with him it's a trial you got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him if I'm not wrong we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison oh my god oh, there's an <laughs> escape room <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. We're gonna go wow. back? Now that's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Oh no, I wasted my technique. No. Oh my god, it put wow, it retreated me to where? Oof. <laughs> now nah, I'm going back, I'm going back. It's fine. Yeah, let me just ignore that guy. Okay. Found it. This is it. How do we... Oh, okay. I hope we're going the right way though. I'm not sure. Um, wait. Oh, 
Oh, I can go from there also. Oh, I think I'm here. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. Mm -hmm. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would <laughs> shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Oh my. It's like everything Ratio says is just like shots fired. <laughs> and eventually in catching strays somehow or the other. Oof. This reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. I don't think those are straight. <laughs> oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Okay. Interact with Gulliver's Arch. Let's go. <gasps> this is like Gulliver's travels, right? Oh, good heavens. D did I drink? Oh, God, he's so huge. <laughs> Am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Actually, I think we could make this work for us. <laughs> just find a way to slip into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. What is this conversation? <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. Oof. What the... What the fuck? I'm industrial scum. Why is this so unhinged? Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Tell me about the guided oh, tour. And tell me about the tour. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Uh, give it a kick. Model. Happy to be <laughs> of service. It's the Barbie ad position. <laughs> guide. 
Please wait. Kick it again. Around the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule machine model. He didn't even have the time to earn a five-star rating from machine oh, there's no mechanism on the floor could there be one at the top doctor do me a favor so I was right these models have interiors that look exactly <laughs> like the real buildings. They had a the gutsy that no one lives in them. For just that. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. Insecure much? Oh, now Sunday's catching the insults. Oof. Mm, yeah. I thought last time was trippy chair. This is worse. Oh, look at this man. He's moonwalking. Nice. I'm really worried for these people. Oh, hello. Okay. Stream four. The gleam. Okay. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. It's reverse moon. <laughs> I need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. I guess... I don't know. He could sort of like projectile himself like out of this place. But I don't know. I think he has to get to the end of it, right? To like be able to... I don't know. I have no clue, honestly. <sighs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc, I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell. <laughs> I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall, like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Why is he speaking so slowly? Projectile himself would have polite way to say yeet eventually. I mean, <sighs> fine. Ooh. A moment. Of peace. We're Dr. Ratio. I like it. We get to hear his lovely thoughts. Which are just insults, actually. <laughs> Stream four. The gleam of old plates. See? We all have him for free? No, I know that. It's not the trial. It's his commentary that I'm talking about. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. See? We all have him for free, but do we get to hear him for free? No. <laughs> not in a quest like this. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have too much time with him, though. Okay, it's time. Thanks, Doc. Okay. 
Where are we trying to go again? You should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. <laughs> All done. Piece of cake. Now we go back. Oh, wait. We have to take the pinball machine again, right? Oh, or can we walk down there? That would be so nice, honestly. How is the outer world exploration with Acheron? It's really nice. As someone who hates getting into these fights, uh, yeah, I'm having a great time. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Makes me feel sad. <laughs> Does it know? Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. We can leave finally. Genshin gameplay. <laughs> True. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. <gasps> Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction? The IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. True. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? But she's not part of the family, no. <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. Why is he after Acheron? The variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This is that not is an interrogation, true. but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the 
charming <laughs> audacity to think that you of all people might emerge what is... victorious dear gambler three chips are enough all or nothing he's gonna create the grandest death what does that even mean Can we check out the room before we... <laughs> it seems me... my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Why is Sunday smiling so much? Imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties. Hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person, and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. I mean, that's what he's trying to do. Well, you weren't mistaken. Yeah. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry, I'm on your side. You, this is what you say to everyone. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, <laughs> I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the Strategic Investment Department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. What? Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. <laughs> you should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. 
Is he trying to call I'm him? Not the kind that takes risks. Not classy. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Mm, clearly. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Is this game new for you? Uh, we have... This is a new quest, actually, Raddy. So we have every... Uh, just like Genshin, this game also... Uh, every 1.5 months, we have a new patch. And yeah, so it's a new quest. We haven't seen this before. His nickname is on his knees, guys. Of course, he's not to stop it, Anurag. <sighs> Ooh, ooh. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron so that he will not be able to fabricate lies. I feel like this won't work on him. <laughs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next. Rishu is just watching you this, by the way. Oh my god. 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Probably not. Yes. <gasps> you. D why what did he want another answer? one? You too understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. <clears throat> Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? No. Yes. Yes? Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? <laughs> Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's Sunday's mind? Sunday's so scary. No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Mm. Mm. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? What are, what are these questions? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Hi, now, Nubita, Hello. The final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? like we can get an answer open it mr aventurine it's your last chance to defend your honor what is what is below that hmm. 
please. <laughs> Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Yeah, there is some vibe going mafia vibe you for came sure. As promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take Wha the side of the family? Rishu tricked us. No. What Why does he you trust think him? You can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united. Progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's mm. cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. We told him to get therapy. The cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. Sunday is a little weird. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones. Granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz. Not <gasps> adventure. Oh, it's Topaz's. And it belongs to Topaz. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide oh. it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. I see. This bag. Or maybe she gave it to him. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. 
disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Mm, that's why he it's wanted the bag back. With Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter mm. and requests the gift. Damn, money. Rishu, like, saw right through this him. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Yeah. Why did he even trust him? He's like none of my business. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Ooh. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of your defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the Harmony represents? Is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. Mm. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm going to end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and oh, bring he's the real culprits doing. to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. Mm. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Hmm. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Why Adventure? does he laugh like that? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <gasps> Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured?
I got it back, sister. Baby, eventually. That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad... Oh no, their parents are dead already? Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. There'll be no next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay, we'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? I guess, oof. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? Hmm. We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? 
The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly yeah. mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The trail plays are dead, right? Mm, Stellaron had just gone. The Keepers keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel mm. seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Huh. Who are you guys? The Bravo team oh. has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Are these the people from uh, Bellabog? Armed evacuation? Boss! Aren't you what? Drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understand? Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out! Yeah, they are! <laughs> I knew it. IPC workers from Bellabog? To all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beer no way! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. <laughs> huh? Fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Mm. Yes. All right. <laughs> as you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family. Are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. Thank you for the hydrate to my to the hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Oh, let's talk to Topaz. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. That's 
just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. <laughs> but Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panna County, I'm watching with keen interest. Is that good, As huh? for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Hmm. Ask the bloodhounds for clues. Okay. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They yeah, this we I know. At the time. We meet again. Ah, <laughs> it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. <laughs> Why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> I've got business with Captain. Where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh. Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. He's got that crazy accent, I know, right? murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer, then? It's probably... Yeah, it is Gallagher. The one hmm. she mentioned, right? Oof, we're gonna go and meet Mr. Gallagher, I guess. No. Yeah, he has that. He had it before, also. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Oh, Gallagher. <sighs> Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation. Is this the dude ahead. who we no fooled before? Personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. Yeah. I think I've seen you before. The the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred <laughs> up exactly on Penacone? <laughs> uh, Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating <laughs> me up with that silver-haired girl. Uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that... Since we'll have to do the clocky the stuff again to this guy. No one's allowed through. Like, he can't catch a break Everyone, with us. please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Hmm. Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy 
to change his mind? Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky magic! <laughs> yep. Please? <sighs> Sorry. Everyone, please leave. Okay, let's activate. No, I want to do happy. <sighs> Let me... Whoa! Time to clock out! And no one's gonna stop me. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. He was so I popular. Do. You folks are from the legendary Yeah, Astral how <laughs> and honorable guests of the watchmaker. He was getting surprised someone knows her is just insane. <laughs> I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I can see why. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the mm -hmm. hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Pentaconi, everyone loves He's lying. Family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be mm. getting at something. Why is he being emo about this? Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. What? You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. He's a bit goofy. I don't know. I'm getting some like goofy vibes from him. Okay, are we changing POVs Even again? Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinnacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divine's. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, mm. Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, oh, necrosis? they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms. Is the inevitable conclusion. Are they all just like dying? Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, 
and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the mm. cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacomi. Ask away. Okay. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the Dreamscape, is located. Behind the Dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour. Who is this? And see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Mm, regarding the Gilded, Gilded hour. hour, it's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes, it is a fortress like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Pepeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, funding blood Pepeshi? that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa mm. credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky, while those around him continued on their way, unfazed. Hmm. I hear the blue hour is uh, very romantic. How is this Do relevant to the ski store? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. And you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. <laughs> Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything. <laughs> of course, the streamer is streaming. And everything Hello. can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. Hi, Gulu. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really confused, okay? Is well trying to hi Michael hello is is well trying to like get details about stuff that he hasn't seen that only she knows like I feel like we're talking about 
NPCs at this point. How how does this even I help? I saw an Ugh. Intellitron there, who was preparing mm. to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his thirteenth. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at How him. How long has she been? This time around, there were no successful bids for him. At Penicone, I don't even know. That's everything. How was this everything? This is what I've seen. And she didn't mention anymore. Firefly or anyone. Someone once said to me, Penicone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Mm. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Okay. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Mm, red text again, that's what. Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story. Are they with you. talking in riddles? There was a man from my homeland who at a time when the world was Yo, wealth lore, wealth story. unhealable pain made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means mm. that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, Humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of mm. legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different <laughs> worlds. In these worlds, there are Dude, so wild that she's saying this. Account. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. Oof. So I will tell you. Even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream, 
I ended that man's life. Alone. What? What is that? I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Mm -hmm. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into mm, the sky? This is her past. Only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness. Mm. Then why exactly do we even walk towards the light? How many perspectives does this quest have? Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacone? Acheron. This voice, it's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you. Oh what a weirdo. <sighs> Imposter? Who is this? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Is this Boot Hill? Really? Who are you? Uh, That's what he sounds like. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? Really? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> he sounds like that. He sounds so oh, old. Man. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about. But, you know <laughs> Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Why is he so weird? Not quite. I only want to ask... How would Wootil exactly know about this? How did become a Galaxy Ranger? I... <laughs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, mm. but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? His voice is so good. Listen, I like his voice. What he, what he's saying is like a little goofy. <laughs> his voice is fine. Mm. What is a galaxy ranger too? Mm -hmm. But that would, I mean. How would it explain how we would know? There are many galaxy rangers. No, do they know? He looks goofy too. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. <sighs> well, <laughs> Male lucky too. <laughs> he, his vibe's different though. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak. And warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That's not the answer to the that question. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, 
Sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman, named Acheron, is an emanator who should not exist. <laughs> what does that even mean? You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? Why are we still talking to Dr. Uh, not we, why is Aventuri still talking to this traitor of a man? He literally like double crossed him. Why are we still talking to him? <laughs> Emanator should not exist. Hmm. Mm, I don't know if it's just the fact that she's an emanator. I don't know. And what does that even mean? Oh, I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. Yeah, okay, that's a good attitude to go I for. thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled no. my duties as you instructed. No. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So... The genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my I will hide it be. What an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Panacone. Oh. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate <laughs> way of saying that you failed. <laughs> what? That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You mm. betrayed me. Hmm. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash, even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one, at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Oh. He always disappears, Lelan. You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you. Wing headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway. <laughs> Just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly. Oh, there was everyone. a there was a scene in the trailer where there was money falling, no, from the skies. Is that what he's talking about? To Icarus, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Wow. Here I got some that gems was. for you. But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I 
can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know any? Is he gonna plant rumors? Death. Death. That's a pretty mm. scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Rumor time, yeah. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there Ooh. have been some rumors about a guest She's giving us the tea. Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well... All customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually mm. what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <sighs> I can feel something inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to kick in? Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Here, I got these gems for you. You wait. I get it now. <laughs> this is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around Oof. here to film. Is this commentary on deep, influencers? <laughs> Youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought oh, of that idea. Oh, congrats, Simmel. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, but what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. That's that's what happened to Firefly. Feeling so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacony movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Hmm. <laughs> Disturbing voice in my head. A sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, you're giving these gems to me. Oh, he's drunk, I think. Didn't expect to meet such on soda of all things. Place. Or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have soul glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. Yeah, I feel like that's Focus the harmony mind. thing that Sunday put on oh. him. <laughs> it is growing, Maybe like, over time. I really should quit. 
but not before meeting the devil of soul glad. <laughs> <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Mm. Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. <laughs> they say it loves to appear to junk people. Especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> this man might now know I something. Just want to take out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Here, I got these gems <sighs> for you. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. <laughs> We have how many people do we have to like keep bribing to get something? Oh my god, we're gonna give gems to a kid. You wanna talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, why does she sound like an adult woman? To others like you. So are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard the something about not, death? Um, I don't know. <sighs> Another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. What? Now did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. I guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Okay, he's literally going to pass out before we get to anything. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. I got these gems for you. A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. 
He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm. Mm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers mm. in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death. The is story a is going okay, but uh, there's a lot that's happening. Oh, another kid. Oh, oh no, he's gonna. Remember what I said. You Sigonians are better off hiding in the Sparkle. Stars. Of course. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple mm. and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll <gasps> soon end up like her, oh unable no. to speak ever again. That's what happened to Robin? <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? There's someone else? Hmm. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. What? Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. It's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Oh, are they going to well, team up? Let me lend you a hand. Here you go. 
This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentagony. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate Ooh, a grand who can finale that even for be? the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? Number 35. Oh no, this is almost you're prison back. days. Like your new lucky charm. Commodity code really be considered a lucky charm. Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. <sighs> hmm, the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my ass. This is so fucked up. What the are hell? We clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go play a game with them <laughs> you came out alive after two days it proves that you are the real deal you're insane <laughs> testing out if you're a good product you don't oh chat uh, this you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste this the one that he has right now is not red right it's like it's black is this like a wound I don't know, I've got so stacks good. on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never what short of self-righteous brats. Yeah, I think like it's a you. wound, right? That's so. Ugh, but this guy. You look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes you look on a good. brat like you. So go along that's now. That's disgusting. And, uh, don't let your. This is getting worse and worse. It's a burn <sighs> scar. <gasps> no. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tonba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30. Tanva. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. 
Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. This guy sounds so creepy. Yikes. Ugh. And that really made me sick. I don't know. What brings you here, Gallagher? <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> the yeah, the NPC I'll whip it up also like they're 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 pretty, but like I I can I I have no clue what their gender is actually I don't want to assume, like <laughs> I have no clue they're giving me very NB vibes but then I don't know because I thought this was just like in the in the trailer I thought their voice would be something different you know but it's interesting. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Sir Ball. Yeah. Oh, it's oh okay. She's cool Who's indeed. Who's Ball? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? Gallagher That's looks exactly tired. He always does. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion Why might are we on this bartender time. detour, by the so way? So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you mm. wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my <laughs> lovely lady. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Why do the heathen rage? Okay. Mm. Collect ingredients. Oh, look at Himako sitting there. Can we sip with her? Can we like... It's so glad. But I thought they didn't sell so glad at the bar. Why is Himiko not helping us? Nice. She's like, so y'all do this. Maybe someone else brought it here. Maybe it's place here for decoration. Mm. That's possible. You see Soul Glad everywhere these days, so it wouldn't be a surprise. We do the work. A bottle here. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himiko. Imagine having Himiko's coffee, though. But it's not like she's... Oh. It's not like she sells it. Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. 
A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. So enemies drop gold coins even <laughs> in a dream? That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters is quite a Marge is so impressed. Must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she I think won't she has budge a crush. unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry. But I'm not interested in your proposal. Ooh. But you have the talent. I thought you I thought proposal. I thought proposal meant marriage. Destined for the but, Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Pentacle. Okay, Amkis. Into every corner of the dreamscape. Please. Please, Shavan, I really. Need you. Look at that desperation. Tell me that's not her begging Shaban to get married to her, okay? I will I wasn't wrong. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along. Also, Amiki's a bit of a harassment type. <laughs> this is harassment, okay. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet with extra ice. Just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick? Yeah, we again? really need to. How come even you Time Himiko? Is running out. We need to hurry. Actually, it's been yeah. a while, no, since Don't we found out what's happening. Yeah, chat. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave. It's the faithful so woman obsessed. My proposal. I'll stop. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Hmm. Try reading her thoughts. Calm, angry. She's angry, yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to tune it to that. Darn Iris jerks. They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here. Running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Sh I'm sorry, I'm really Things not interested in if she gets any angrier. I yeah, just I, don't get I just want to know <laughs> Okay, we'll make you we'll make you happy. Come. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us. And the taste Hi, Annie. Hello. is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every Okay. Day. Want to raise a glass? Is she not leaving? I'm just trying to get this woman to leave and it's not working. Still not leaving. Yeah, it will make you sad. It will make you sad. I guess happy also didn't work. What about calm? No. Hmm. 
It's ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. I think Our she's getting it. Yes, I already got Acheron, Ani. Meant to cross. I did it before the quest. I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. She used Even to be among what happened? Talented Ivor's family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Okay. She's still not leaving. Well, oh, okay. okay. Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. Yeah, go cry in a room. I'm leaving now. <laughs> Please leave, ma'am. Amaki has uh, left? Yes. That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. Why would we... Ready, Go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Okay. I'm... What kind of... That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. So go ahead. Explore the bar. Nice I bar. already got we, them, yeah. We found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Mm. Sweeter than Susa juice and more bitter than dream syrup. Dream in a bottle. That's a metaphor for Pentaconi itself. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. Chet, why are it we bartending? Unforgettable taste without overpowering the main When tone. people are dead, so what's my your question. choice for the adjunct? Why are we doing this? Um, no, I don't want that teeth thing. I don't this like. This is okay. the most pungent adjunct we have, and my personal favorite. People, yeah, people are dead. Before Mikhail left, and the eventually it might not be dead, but. Had Deepened, like Something's happening to him. He mumbled, his breath too weak to climb up his throat. Mikhail! Caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penaconi itself on that night. Mik Mikhail, the one who, like, we heard in that first dream sequence, remember? When we were lost over there. Look at me, I'm like, oh, there's no, like, this isn't important. But then they just name drop Mikhail. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Why did he just yeah, blurt that out? out? Um, Hanu sign coin trip. PC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well, it's done. Ooh, Here's that's to pretty. you, seeker of truth, with this glass of farewell, my lovely. Farewell, my lovely, okay. To unfinished business. Okay. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flake. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece. 
especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Maybe he'll give us some more lore. The check. imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? I've, yes, we heard this name in yeah, the dream. That name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. Okay, you that was a test. Know quite a bit. Now he's going to tell us the real no reason stuff. to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, we know that. Away. We know that. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common <laughs> sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Was it after her death? Huh? Does that mean... Death eradicated her? Is she a ghost? I like this ghost explanation also. That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed but in the first place. But we have a place. picture with her. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Penacony, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. What? What is he talking about? the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. They've really mentioned this problem with the family so many times, but nobody's saying what it I is. I guess it's time to tell the story yeah. about Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? <laughs> Quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case, so how could I not know? <laughs> I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Yeah, isn't the father a part now, of the family? I can you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? 
So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker. Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful what? stain in the history of Penacony, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. What does this have to do with Mikhail? Yeah. What is that? You don't get Are it. we getting to it? Are we well, getting to it? I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer is the of what? the family, he's the watchmaker. Emperor Soda, you're wrong. Gallagher is not the watchmaker, but Mikhail is, yeah. Hmm. Okay. And people have been saying Misha is Mikhail for a very long time. So I'm... You meant Mikhail only? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Here we are, Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the yeah. watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place, but to me, it's a prison. For the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's mm -hmm. prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other Ooh. in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. Is this Hoyoverse? <laughs> Chat, this sounds uh, like a lot like Hoyoverse, not gonna lie. Um, did Annihilation Gang appear? They actually... Okay, so we heard two of the Annihilation Gang members' voices today. Okay, but uh, it was through Black Swan. And it was very... Mm, like, there was a lot of redacted text in it. But yeah, we did see. We saw Duke in front of him and we got some info about how uh, that man passed away. Yeah, yeah, Annihilation Gang is alive. They're not dead. They're not dead. But Duke Inferno is very much dead. Yep. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Was that Mikhail? He is Hanu. How oh, it's Hanu of Dreamville, the great peacemaker and the faithful companion of the underdogs. And he looks like History that. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. Mm. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, <laughs> You'll understand no, why no. we're here. <laughs> no, no, no. Mikhail does not look like Hanu. So many members of the Hanu is a different guy. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Why can't anyone go in? Yeah. Oh, it's silicone. Ooh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? Yeah, aren't you like the, the their their dad? <laughs> we don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Okay. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters mm, in reality, yeah. 
then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. Hmm. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monument to war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew Hanunu. of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, mm. doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. Oh. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Yeah, good, good question. I'm 13. What's weirder, okay? Him, him saying I'm 13 or him? <laughs> this is the man you all have been simping over. You all have been calling him daddy. He just said he's 13. Did you see how he turned? Okay, he turned like he did a full flip with his hair and he's like, I'm 13. <laughs> I called him daddy. That's what I'm saying, Annie. Puberty hit him like a freaking rocket launcher. <laughs> no. What is what is this? Uh, no way. Not even. It's close. a joke, I guess. 13th century. Who freed the frontier prison? Oh, he was but actually Keith joking. Still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostano was uncertain. Chad, I thought I thought he was being serious. <laughs> <laughs> why did he why is he like this what is his real age he's 50 or what he doesn't want to say what his age is what the hell this <laughs> who does this <laughs> i don't like this man or approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the mm. father of Penacone. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. Oh. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners. And my past. Mm. Yeah, what happened to Mikhail Mr. then? Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity. <gasps> He's in a place dead. Where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew 
would never return. Could he be one of the mute people that Sparkle is talking about? We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited hmm. the title of the watchmaker and has been secretly working against Mikhail's the family son. all this Misha. time. Misha! This could be Misha, right? This, this could be... Listen, I'm still... I am still on my Misha theory. Okay, chat. He's too... I know he doesn't seem... But this could be, yeah. Who could that person Fortunately, be? Fortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Can't wait for evil, Misha. Could be cool. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. I'm still, I'm hmm? so caught off guard by Something his 13 joke. The theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. So family isn't all exactly. that united, yes. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And the death is related that to the Watchmaker. What we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Avengerine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Yes. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, <laughs> huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. Mm -hmm. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Yeah, Clocky only reveals uh, himself to the trailblazer who has a Stellaron inside them. Yeah, okay. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Mm. Ask about Welt's situation. Yeah. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely. We know what they're hiding. Do light pavilion. Okay. Ooh, we we're now from her POV. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. <laughs> Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Uh, new areas? There's Sunday's office, like Sunday's room or whatever. It's a little new, yeah. You'll, you'll get a seat in the... I mean, this is kind of what it is, actually. Yeah. Beyond good and evil. This, this, this place. They're like these uh, big statues. Um, yeah. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. 
Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Hmm. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Ooh. While using exploration, okay, yeah, yeah, we will. Screen four. Model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? And the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Yeah, it was a venturing and a Doctor issue. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. Set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Oh, we have to. They didn't let us not fight, no? Just in time. This is like the first fight I've had, like, in a while. Destined for oblivion. You chose the wrong enemy. Bloom. Your assistance is timely. <laughs> Relax. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. That's half the work. It's still waters of oblivion. Stand still. This battle is Ooh, her ultimate's up, I think. For the departed. <gasps> it too shall fall. Lend me your strength. Destined for oblivion. Say bye to breathing. Another journey begins. Relax. Receive divinity. Thanks. You're too good to me. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Nice music. You're too good to me. To guard and defend, crush them. Stand still. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Still waters of oblivion. Lend me your strength. Destined for oblivion. Relax. Still waters of oblivion. Let's settle this. <laughs> Stand still. This battle is I weep for the departed. Even the music fades away. It too shall fall. It's too damn cool. Good, breathing. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Free will. Hmm. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. Mm. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Hmm. 
Are we gonna meet Sunday? No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. <laughs> Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Oof, we can we can snoop around. This is a very like I didn't expect Welt and Acheron to have this much like screen time together. Okay, dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Two Light Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmini Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Penacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Penacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted the voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I realized immediately that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Penacony, and it's highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmini Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the one true family member I have left. Hmm. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme death and further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidences is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and I'm prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can focus on the preparations. Mm -hmm. Once I thoroughly investigate death, I'll come and meet you immediately. Spend time in reality when you're free. Okay. Hmm. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and now it seems I was right. So that was, the person that we met was Robin, right? The first when we met her, because a lot of people were saying her voice was different because uh, Sparkle was pretending to be her, but I guess even we did meet the real Robin. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Answerol, a uh, male Halloween. What is this? Oh my god. From Shinjo. Uh, he fell off the sea. Oh, are these all of the death victims? Okay, okay. He was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme. Okay. Uh, a female human participated in a talent show in the moment of Scott's and an accident he fell off. A male Pepeshi fell down while entering his office and was killed by an unknown meme. Press his girlfriend. Wow, look at this chat. Dekim, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under this. Okay, wow. His girlfriend's memories have been processed. This is the one that, uh, you know, Acheron? She met this one girl, right? Who was uh, like looking towards water. And they both got on a boat. I feel like it's that one. Hmm, okay. A male 
Intellitron, okay. The meme is the most common thing here. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Hmm. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some importance. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Time as a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Mm, laid back lifestyle, God's lacking off at work, diplomatic course, okay. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm, could be. I have been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that, that you hold the position of not your brother, but okay, as Panifoni is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment. I heard you plan to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole. What if somebody from the family introduced death to this dreamscape? But then why would they do that? Uh, like why would they already know about it is the thing. While you're convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker, I've met that watchmaker many times, long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I've never found any evidence linking them to that memory zone meme. It is unwise to allocate all of Penagoni's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring great dishonor, okay? Charm Festival is on the horizon, and the watchmaker's guests are barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominic's arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill responsibilities, okay? Hmm. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Hmm. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on <gasps> forbidden areas is the um... way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? 
Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you Wilt is so us. smart. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Yeah, Don't but they're agree? shameless, Sunday. Just even like... without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those um, documents. Don't talk about it! <laughs> While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you, the betrayer will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, mm -hmm. and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but... In my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Mm, it's not like you can trust you. He's a businessman. Not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme Oh, he's that's up. what uh, Gallagher was talking about. While the about. family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Is he threatening them? According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Edgehousio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia um. Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avjin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Or well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end. 
including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me <laughs> to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tanvas. The remainder of my market value. Thirty tanbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Oh, she's from well, the IPC. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? <laughs> An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes? Or will I encounter failure? Never to return. Can he not speak anymore? What? What? <sighs> My dream. Yeah. Have I gone completely insane? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Perhaps both. Oh no. What is he? Who is he looking at? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, 
Don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? It's him, right? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. What? First, I'm hearing things, no. and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Just a Papeshi? No. A child. Talk to this strange child. Why is it redacted? In golden hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Oh my god, that's a venturine. <laughs> Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Those eyes... And Mama Fung, no, no, it, it can't. Oh my God! Wait! Oh, we there lost the kid. Captains left. We literally lost the kid. Papa, Mama, wait for me. <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? What are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panicone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that well, when you put it like that, even ratios a teeny peacock analogy <laughs> sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. <laughs> so listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies. Calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? 
Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. A tight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You won so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. I am so confused. You don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. It's being Delulu, yeah, I agree. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my god, it's it's like the time we were chasing Mikhail. I don't like this chat. Not another pin. Oh my god. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. I don't know why the quest title is like that. It's so weird. This entire thing is so weird. I feel like we talk we just talk to ourselves or something just now. Wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on, it's a rag. What? It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed, after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the. Last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child. Could he be in here? Is this. Ooh. A topaz? What is this doing here? <laughs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart so? Uh huh. <sighs> I was merely curious at why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you. 
you realize that your painstaking and arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Quipon's body. I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If you were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much. Sunday is like very psychotic. I don't know. I didn't think I would be scared of him. That's why you had Ratio seek him out and leave the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from oh. under. Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. We should Best guess by his name. Your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. Mm. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hand. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's it? I feel like this is Sunday <laughs> in his head. Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what you said when you received the stone, wasn't it? He's trying to convince him that it's him, but it's not, this you know. Type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones, who, for a measly panicone, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. For sure, this is not him. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble itself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't fall for it. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. the Aventurine stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This <laughs> thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against you think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, 
The ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh? Have we finally Hello. caught up? We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. What? <laughs> We have to. I thought we could just skip it. No, chat, we can't. Okay, I got him. Are we done? How's that? Okay. Not a bad score, eh? The kid's <sighs> gone. Boring. <laughs> Chat, I feel like it's been a year since we started doing this quest. How many hours? How many days will this go on for? Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you. You reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over, and I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Hmm. Okay. I'm 
wondering how much longer this quest could be because I feel like we're we're at a good point, right? Wait, we're leaving the maze, okay? Oh no. A dead end? Oh no. It, is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Shut up. What did he do? Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least 60 tamba. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves you are weak. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? your opponent would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Thank you for the hydrate, Guru Wheat. I will. with two pieces of jewelry a necklace and a lucky charm there won't ever be a third piece oh, that's what you always say but you actually regret it don't you that you didn't somehow you can zip it if there's nothing to talk about <laughs> i know you must remember what big sis told you you're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Mm -hmm. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How 
the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are not! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice, too unsolved murders, cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head-to-head -head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose, exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. All right, then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? I think we can leave. Or am I the yeah. one about to disappear? <sighs> finally, made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. We have to, we have to go back. Oh my lord. I'm telling you, okay, last time also I felt this way. What can I do? I have to activate this one. Wait. Okay. I do the charts. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. No, 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 please, no. Oh, what is that? Oh, not chat. This is like every puzzle I don't like at once. I cannot with this game. Why do they do this? No, no, no. No, There's not her. No, no. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we can blow shit up. Oh my god, I remember this. I remember this. Oof. Now we can blow these people up. No, no, no. Die. Ugh. Why can't I go up there? Okay. I would like my bullet back. Thank you. Wow, you run out of bullets? I hate this game. Okay. You got Akron? Let's go. Wait, wait. How do we get up there again? Oh, yeah. I just need to like walk through the stairs. No? 
Why did we turn into Hanu for no reason? Is that you? I hear the sound. <laughs> ah. I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. This amusement park, this beautiful dream. We really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? Are, is it finally? Are we getting to the end of this quest? We all are. Hmm. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. You're almost done? Hmm. I feel like we're reaching the end too. Seventy-five percent done. So. Oh. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. You've never gone in any other direction. He's sweet now. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Chat, no one has died in this quest yet. I am very happy about it. Just after Panacone, no matter the means, no matter mm. the price, it's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what did you suddenly grow a conscience? Diamond is a dude. Yep, yep. Stop you from 
what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. So luck always seems like it's on your side. You all keep winning. I mean, never lost before, but why? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyandra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's... It's best to die without regrets. That's true. Why are they so... Is Aventurin gonna die? Why are they so sure? They have no belief. Only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a momentum. Sure. Come on. I feel bad for kid him, not gonna lie. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. You're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure. I don't so hate Aventurine as much anymore. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show to do. He talks so kindly to his kids. So. Men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. How did you miss the backstory? You were right no, here when it happened, Anurag. My position is much higher than this. Sweet kid. Of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. palms together. If you receive Gyathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. 
This is where we go our own way, Kakabasha. Oh no. Catechins are coming. Is this when her when his sister died? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. of revenge remember today is the day of the kakava and also your birthday you know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today with the aid of this rain they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want little do the catkins know this time we will fight back the men in black that descend from the skies are on our side the catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die. You will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gaia oh, no. calls for me. While Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer. The Why call. does he have to watch his entire family she die with the hell? And help you survive. As long as you are alive. The blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. To build care, stop. Bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. This is so sad. Kakavasha. News flash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> the music, everything is so. Bye. Okay, all the actors are in place. I don't cry. I don't. I don't want to cry about adventure. No, no, I'm not gonna. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. K 
Danke, Kavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume... Just assuming now... That every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello. Ooh, I'm here. Himiko and Acheron the meet. Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Hey, I said, <laughs> pleased to meet Hello? you. None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on mm. nothing more than his own subjectivity. As we predicted. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... Create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. Mm -hmm. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. But we must meet out justice for the She's dead. right. No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as they speak, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The I guess final battle, yeah, I hope so. The Clock Studio theme park. <laughs> Look. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Nope. Ready. Let's waste no time. Let's go. It's been five hours. <laughs> hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Mm. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate, in the upcoming confrontation, 
if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor. I will if my meager strength is required. Oof. Let's go chat. Should I take Jing Lo as well? Or should I take Bronya only chat? Try can I take trial acron? I don't know. This is my acron. Pick the best you can bring. I'll take Jing Lo. Cause we need ice no. We're think back help. here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole <laughs> new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. <sighs> Astral Express, you're late in this unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Ben! Oh no. Mommy, I'm gonna say that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in Drain's promise is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? Who's the yeah, who's the third That's one? Right, madam. <gasps> the third one is about to happen right now, right here. Um, is he killing himself? I don't want to see this. Stop, stop. Grand Ooh, is this what he was going to do? You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. Um. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. You will become the personification. Of death. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panacone. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Lee's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting... What's gonna happen? ...victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. Golden Sands. 
But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or crap to! Oof. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards? <laughs> Is he gonna dance? Blonde stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Batesman the wheel, a daring gamble, walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Amber Lord! Okay. Oh my god, is this the hell background was gonna do? Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last chip. Oh no. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. <laughs> Emanator, I know you'll match my wager, right? Leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Who is she looking for? Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. That is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I wish to mourn the departed. Weeping like rain to swell the crossing stone. Demo music. Oh my God. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. She's. 
so cool. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just look at her. Insane. <sighs> Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see, have I, have I succeeded? Welcome to the sad world, Kakabasha. Oh my God. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have. You came out alive after two Chad, days. they're making us run it 300. You are the real deal. They're making us yeah. run 300 Success. meters, Chad. I cannot. Power. I'm losing it. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Is Aventurine dead? It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. <gasps> Melody, is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. Let the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form. And even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss of words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacony. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of the exile. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. 
The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Yeah, also Tevat. I know, right? That's what Unless. I thought too. <laughs> Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier mm. and lives to tell the tale. Someone already, already has. Ha ah, who? I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound. Robin? And still on Peniconi. Firefly? Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides, constantly repeating the words of the emanator in front of others, mm. leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an mm. ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, I never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. 
if the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot do. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal Again, a completely red. different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Oh, what is that? It's in the impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. Damn. Not Ratio being nice to him. <laughs> After all that. <sighs> then I shall get going. <gasps> Mister? You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape. Yes, because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because... I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your, your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. pulsing. I'm not gonna cry. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. His life knows not quite good, okay. Stone has disappeared. This only 
represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been dead? sent to the family no. territory. Then let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. No. No, he's not dead. No. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow he said, poison he's in the not. Garden. He said Thank not you. today. Exactly. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. I don't, I don't know. Where is this? Memories resurface. Adventure in English is fun. Where are we? Your thoughts? No. A fire engulfs you in its embrace. I think someone saved me. You're awake. Sam saved us. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. And you are? You've met me before. I'm Sam, the Stellaron Hunter. Why did Sam save us? I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script elio is right in this land of the dreams you and i will reap unforgettable gains i don't know people's hearts as well as he and kafka do nor do i have a specialty like silver wolf and blade most of the things that i'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion. They just left it at the Why did we get to talk to her though? <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit her nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know. I agree. Lunatic. Are they just staring you, at each other? The family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. These His servants. Magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. 
Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay. Why is Sunday the villain of Benigoni, by the way? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> <laughs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Brother? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Um, I've lost it, chat. What? What? Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes. Which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar. The mark of Wolsey. And the grey vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister in that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question is happening. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. This game so about Sunday being evil yeah um he's evil he's dead wow uh, I'm you know what chat uh, they they want to destroy our brains I I uh, how how can they top the twists of last quest I'm dying, Chad. This is so much. I don't, I feel like I've lost the capacity to think, honestly. 